my name is Derek, and today I'm gonna to be showing you a repair on an iPhone 13 Pro Max. This phone is having issues with service, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything that has to do with the bottom board. Now, sometimes there's a simple solution. Let's see if this is one of those. Here I have an iPhone that doesn't have any service or Wi-Fi. We go into the Wi-Fi, it's just grayed out. Go to Bluetooth, and it just continually thinks. There's a common failure in this phone, and that is when the motherboard basically splits. I'm gonna show you how we fix that. Take out the bottom two screws. If you haven't seen these yet, it's definitely worth a look. It allows you to torque down uh, just the right amount on, on the iPhone. Pop the screen off. Looks like someone's been in here before. The battery looks like it's been transferred. Maybe this is a frame swap. Let's take off the bracket for the screen. Disconnect the battery. Disconnect the display. It's like the bracket was missing a screw for the proximity sensor. Let's disconnect all of the connectors here. Definitely someone's been in here. Pop out the SIM card tray. And this battery isn't even in there. That's not good. They pried it out, left the old adhesive. It's all wrinkled. Great. Let's take out the screws in the bracket that houses the 5G antenna. Disconnect the antenna. We have a standoff screw to take out. And out comes the board. Looks like we've got some glue here on the back. And I think that this is a frame swap. So I'm curious if what happened was they tried a backlash repair and that didn't work. So they tried a housing. So, yeah, there's a shred of glass right there. I wonder if they used the glass breaker on the back of the phone and hit the board. That could definitely be the reason we're having no service. We peel off this little heat sink here. And sometimes if you hit the light just right, you'll see an impact mark. Not seeing any there, so it's most likely the, this, the, the board split here somewhere. All right, we'll pull out our heating platform. Looks like I've got the 13 Pro Max ready to go. I'll plug it in. Turn it on. Put our board in there. Get it nice and seated down inside there. We'll start the heating process. Now that we're up to temperature, come in gently. So now I'm just gonna carefully push down on different parts of the board, kind of agitating it a little bit. What's basically happening is the solder balls that have cracked or, or split are fusing back together. Any, this will basically fix any of the disconnects that have happened from the impact or from the removal or from the repair itself. Forgot to take off these little stickers. I guess it's not too late. You just won't be able to reuse them. Now that it's had a few minutes, we'll let it cool down. And once it's cooled down, we'll reassemble it in the phone and test it. All right, so after that quick reflow, where we just kind of agitated the board a little bit, a lot of the time that's all that it takes. Sometimes you actually have to go in and separate the board entirely and fix pulled pads and things like that, but it's always worth heating it up, letting it cool down after agitating it just to check. So here I've got it installed back inside. We'll go ahead and turn it on. We'll wait for it to boot up and then we'll test it and see, do we have Wi-Fi, Bluetooth service back? Hopefully we do. All right, let's take a look. So now we can go and check out our Wi-Fi. It's green now, and you can see, we can definitely see Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, everything's there once again. All right, let's just check and see 
and we get the IMEI information. So yeah, service is back. It's not always that simple, but a good portion of the time it is. So as you saw, this was a pretty simple solution. I found with my experience that the phones that I've done this on, I don't see them again. If this method doesn't work for you, then you will definitely have to separate the two boards, fix the pulled pads, and put it back together. Think we got lucky with this one? Let me know in the comments below what you thought. Thanks a ton for watching. We'll see you in the next video.